After months of calm, the missiles took Kyiv by surprise. This pedestrian bridge was one of several civilian targets. CCTV captured the sole person on the bridge, running away as debris fell. It's the first time Kyiv's been hit since June. Blasts struck the city center, including the business district and historic Old Town. Life had been getting back to normal, with bars and restaurants open. Now, where those tractors are in the middle of the road is where one of the many missiles that hit Kyiv on Monday morning landed, the impact of which was felt by that building over there, which belongs to a university, and this building behind me, which is a ministry building for the Ministry of Education, both educational facilities, not military facilities. And we're told that a woman was killed in this junction. The mayor was out on Monday to see the damage for himself. People is angry, angry and want to defend our houses, defend our families, our children. And main goal of this senseless war <clears throat> to rebuild Russian empire. We was in the USSR, it's a message to Putin. We was in the USSR and we don't want back to USSR, point. We see our future as part of European family. Hundreds of people took refuge in an underground station. A rendition of a traditional folk song spontaneously broke out as Russian missiles rained down above. Several other Ukrainian cities came under attack, including Dnipro, which was hit by multiple explosions. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the Ukrainian targets were attacked in response to the explosion on the Kerch Bridge connecting Russia to Crimea. More revenge could spell a major escalation in the war. The attack in Kyiv, just a bloody reminder from Russia that the Ukrainian capital is within its reach. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World, Kiev, Ukraine.